From the site that many call the loudest in the NFL, we are inside Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle with the Miami Dolphins. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Kosicki. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Brings up second and one at the 34-yard line. Here's the first carry from Matt Breda. That one, a first down pickup of eight. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. Two a little throw complete to Parker. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Dolphins first down. Running out of the gun here, Brita. A gain of three, second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. The last run got three, now here's second and seven. From the gun, it's Tua. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. Pretty solid start for the rookie here on this first drive, Charles. Able to have some confidence, stepping back into the pocket, move around a little bit, find open receivers, and deliver. That just means his confidence is going to continue to grow because he's getting more and more comfortable with each completed pass. On first down, Tonga Bailoa. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Out of the shotgun, Breda. And a short gain down to about the 33. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. And it's caught by Parker. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Third catch for him on this drive alone, and it'll give him a first down. First down, Dolphins. Tua going to hand this one to Burita. He's going to get four out of this as he's down to the 10-yard line. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. 
And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Tua finding Devontae Parker for the touchdown there. And the Dolphins take it right down and score on the opening drive. Quite the drive there to get things started. They took up the bulk of the first quarter, and they end up in the end zone. And I love your last point, ended up in the end zone. Because a lot of teams like those long drives, especially to keep their offense off the field, right? Keep the ball away from them. But they finished it with a touchdown. That's the exclamation point. Now flip it over defensively. They've got to slow that down somehow, right? Maybe they need to be a little more aggressive, maybe a few more pressures towards the quarterback. Stopped up at the 25. First and 10 at their own 25 yard line. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 25 yard line. Here's the first carry for Le'Veon Bell. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. They'll run for the first time with Clyde edwards alaire And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Chiefs, nothing. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Flushed out right. And now he's going to use his legs. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. That's good for a Kansas City Chiefs. From midfield, here's Mahomes. Eluding the pressure right. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Demarcus Robinson, the intended target on that one. But it's going to be second down. To second and 10. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 38-yard line. That one good for 12 yards into Kansas City first. On first down, Mahomes. A quick slant to Hill. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. It's a gain of 35. You can feel the effort all the way up here. He tried his best to get there. Didn't quite make it, but down around the two, three yard line. Got to love the effort, and especially the big play that gave his offense a great opportunity. They'll try to run with Edwards Hilaire. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. This will be a two-yard loss on the play, and that'll make it second and goal. They'll run here with Edwards Hilaire. He gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. Not the kind of game that will go absolutely crazy for him, but it's the kind of game that you need to have when you're running back in the NFL and Clyde Edwards Alaire with that low center of gravity and strength. He's going to get those tough, pretty yards for you when necessary. Escaping the pressure right. And that is caught by the back judge right there to say incomplete. The Dolphins do the job defensively there, and now it brings up fourth. from the field goal unit. They've got four full yards to go here on fourth and goal to hit Pater, but they're going to go for it. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Taking it in 
him from four yards out. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from tying up this football game. The defense was almost too good on that play. They took away all of his targets. The one thing they forgot to account for him as a runner. And he's able to tuck it and go for the end zone and get it done. Harrison Butker to kick off for Kansas City. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This taken in about four yards deep. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Take over first and 10 at their own 23-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offensive summit. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense getting the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on. On the field. Second and eight at the 24 yard line. We've hit the two minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. Coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coach's two-minute drill. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. Third down. Tongue of Iloa working out of the gun. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Dolphin first down. First down, Miami. Going to the air. Tongue of Iloa. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. It's caught inside the 25. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Two and now on first down. Flushed out right. And he just gets rid of it, throws it away. The lines move there, look like nobody open, now second down. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. And again, it's Tug of Iloa. And this is caught at the eight. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Two and a throw again. And that is caught. 
Touchdown, Miami! Mike Gesicki on the pass from Tua Tonga Vailoa. And the Dolphins have taken the lead. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury. And it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. He finds himself open for an easy touchdown. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that makes the score 14-7. to Kickoff for Miami. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And this carries into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. At their own 23-yard line. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation. That's caught inside the 20. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. First and 10 at the 18-yard line. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Here's Mahomes to throw. Eluding the pressure right. He'll run it. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. Three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. This will be just a 21-yard attempt. Butker's kick here is good. And that will do it for this first half. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. It'll be the Chiefs football to begin quarter number three, and they trail here as we are back underway now on EA Sports. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. 20-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals. And it's caught inside the 30. And he takes it all the way down to the 28-yard line. First and 10 of the 28-yard line. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one, closed quickly, and helped force the incompletion. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Now here's Mahomes, escaping the pressure right. Now he'll pull it down. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Now Edwards Alaire. And power running here down to the 6-yard line. A solid run on first down. Gain of 7. Leaves him with a second and 3. Now a carry for Edwards Alaire. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. Now the Dolphins are going to halt the action here. It's a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Mahomes. 
Mahomes to throw on third and one. He's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. Patrick Mahomes with a touchdown pass to Sammy Watkins. And the Chiefs are going to jump back in front. Harrison Butker. Well, it was third and one. I was expecting run so much for that. They pass it, they score it. But that had the feel of the head coach telling the offensive coordinator, you've got four downs here. We're going to go for it on fourth down unless there's a disaster on third. Go ahead and take a shot if you want to. And he gratefully accepted the opportunity and did exactly that. If they didn't get it there, that had to feel that they would come back and try it on fourth down. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Dolphins take over first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Two and a try again on second down. That'll be complete to Breda. There he goes left side. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Matt Breda, 81 yards. And the Dolphins are once again going to retake the lead. They erased that deficit pretty quickly, did they not? A two-play drive. What do we call that? Short-lived? Very. Because, very short-lived. Two plays later, they're in the end zone Jason and back out in front. We always talk about drives, don't we? Does two plays count as a drive? Not really, but that second play was so good. I don't care what we call it. It was enjoyable to watch. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. The conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these teams, special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. And he'll take this one up over the 20 to the 21-yard line. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Looking to throw is Mahomes. This is complete to Watkins on the slam. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. So first and 10 now from the 30. They go play action. Now Mahomes. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Oh, free safety blitz. That can be a gamble, but it proves fruitful there. Yeah, you're exactly right about the gamble because oftentimes the free safety is the last line of defense against a long pass. And when he comes at the quarterback, he better get home and make the play. Otherwise, a big play could result for the offense. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. The Dolphins get there this time and they bring him down. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. Yeah, he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. A nice job on the return there, 16 yards. And the Dolphins will begin this drive in great field position, first and 10. Right 
On first down, here's Breida. Not much there. Maybe a couple as he's taken down at the 40. An opportunity to get a drive started here at the end of the third quarter. What you're trying to do is break the game down a little bit. Don't let your guys see too deep into the game, into the future, and say, oh, we got to get here. No, right here, right in front of them. Melt the clock down. Get to the fourth quarter. Try and keep going. And try to keep that lead. Exactly. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Dolphins on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This will be third and six. This is Breida. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. The job of any linebacker involves having enough strength to fight off a blocker and get into ball carriers. But in this case, I think we can safely say he beat him right off the snap to get into the backfield and make that play. So it looks like the offense isn't going anywhere. They're going to go for it on fourth and seven. Tua on fourth down. And that is incomplete. The Dolphins can't convert on fourth down. And the Chiefs defense comes up with a stop. So that's a decision that could loom pretty large here. They go for it on fourth down but come up empty. But I actually like the call. And the reason? It shows me a head coach has faith in his team overall. First on the offensive side, thinking they can pick it up but also knowing that he has faith in his defense that if they don't, they'll go out there and stop him. I like the confidence he shows. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Second and four at the 44-yard line. Now Mahomes. He'll get this underneath to go. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Mahomes going to throw. Dancing to his left. He'll try and run it. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. All right, partner, I'm a defender, but I've got to express my admiration there. Moving around, making it happen, and instead of worrying about protecting himself, he goes and gets the first down. I've got to give it to him on that one. Normally, you don't want your guy taking shots, your quarterback, but it's winning time here in the fourth quarter. If he needs to make those plays with the legs, go ahead, right? Yeah, no doubt about it. It's, at this stage of the game, all protections, they're off. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Brings up second and nine. Throwing now is Mahomes. And he gets it inside the 10 to the nine. That'll put him over 150 yards receiving now. Quite a ball game and a first down. They'll run with Edward Jalair. And they go the wrong way on this one. Losing yardage back at the 12. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Brings up second and goal at the 12-yard line. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. And they're knocking on the door. Second and goal now in a one-score game. On second and goal, Mahomes. And that will be caught, but out of the end zone, says the field judge. It's ruled incomplete. He was looking to hit his running back, Le'Veon Bell, that time. But now it's third and goal. Now Mahomes. 
Jones. Forced out to his left. He can run for it, and he will. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Five yards that time out of the scramble. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. He certainly had plenty of success running the ball. And right now, I'm getting the sense that he's looking to take off and run every time he steps back to throw it. But they did a nice job there collapsing on him and holding him to a short gain. Down four late. Got to go for it here on fourth down. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. Flush to his right. And no, it's incomplete. They had the play call on fourth and goal, but it's dropped in the end zone. And that'll be just about all she wrote for this one. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And this game not quite in hand yet. We'll likely see all three timeouts defensively and then reassess where we are. They'll start on the ground with Breda. And he's going to be taken down shy of the 10 right around the 9-yard line. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Back to throw is Tua. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Kosicki. And he takes this just about a yard shy of the 20. It's a first down on a gain of 10. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. And the Chiefs are going to signal for and be granted another timeout as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Here's Breda. And he goes nowhere. He'll lose yardage back at the 17. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well because we've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college. How about in the NFL? The miracle of the Meadowlands. All they had to do was take a knee and the game was over. The Giants ran it one more time. Ball popped free. Philadelphia picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. Victory very likely now for the Dolphins as they take a knee here. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something, and they, <laughs> they did in this one. <laughs> Accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. Every penalty so critical at this stage of the game is now they've got it third and long. Down to an ego's Tua, and that should just about do it. I know there may be temptation to go for it here in overtime, but you have to punt the football. I like how emphatic you are about it because I know the tendency is, as a player, Let's go get this thing. You're actually telling your coach, come on, coach, we can get it. We have that play call. And the head coach has to re 